Hey Stampin' Friends, Darlene with Darlene Stamps. Thanks for stopping by today. I wanted to go through and do a round two of alternates for the pumpkin because I thought it would be good because of our holiday season coming up to us um, is baking the cards into holiday. And this one is one that I did and it has kind of a little fun fold which I will show today. But um, as I go through, I had some great comments. Thank you so very much. Um, with my temporary um, craft corner, I <laughs> I am um, trying to do a little bit difference on my uh, demonstration. So um, I have a way now of, for example, showing the close detail. You'll see that this is just one of my envelopes. Um, I always try to um, stamp the outside of my envelope. It makes it that unique. Anyhow, so taking these poppers, crackers, whatever you want to call them, and they have two different patterns and um, all the different pieces we did. The, if you haven't didn't see the, um, the first one of the paper pumpkin alternates that I do, check out how we make the little... Um, witch hat into the um, like a little uh, derby hat and then our pumpkins so what I wanted to do was first show my alternates and this was one that I did and um, before I do that go into detail let me do something I'm going to show you um, the stamp set that I used which was in 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 the pines and it comes as a bundle. So these are the leaves that I did. And then I used, of course, Mary Moose. Mary Moose came, um, was last year and was carried over. So that's a fun one. And I used this one. This actually is a new set um, for Unto Us. I mean, we're talking some really neat sentiments. You know, I have a lot of Christmas, but this really kind of suited for what I do um, and so we use some of those sentiments and then uh, this is a one that came back which is the um, perfectly plaid and some of the sentiments that are in here so I'm just giving you kind of a, a rundown of the sentiments and the um, stamp sets that I use and of course the gift wrapped and the sentiments on that so I'm gonna put those aside and then let's go back to my samples. So this was one that doesn't have the fold, um, but you can see how the dimensions, we get that a little closer here. So it looks like a shadow. All I did was double die cut this tree from In the Pines. And let me get closer here. So you can see that we did, and I didn't do any type of, um, we got Stella on that yet, but the shadow really makes it nice. You have the moon behind it, but there's that fancy um, paper that came in our kit. And then I used a foil that um, kind of outlines that sentiment. Okay. Then um, this was the Mary Moose one. And I'm going to get kind of close. You can see I used... Um, the same color white as a layer, but I textured it. It really adds dimension, don't you think? But um, this is the Cajun Craze, which, you know, really isn't a typical um, Christmas color, but um, it kind of gives it more like a country feel. So I wanted to kind of run with that, with the moose. And... Um, then this is the tree from the stamp set as well as the season greetings. But um, taking the uh, Mossy Meadow, Cajun Craze, and then that texture. All right. All right. And then this is that neat, fancy fold. So um, we'll, we're going to do this, but um, just needed to do a little bit of those trees. See the trees? And I stamped down on the on the uh, white surface and then I popped up some of the trees and then had the big one so anyhow kind of seeing that and then I did the texture behind it okay so that is our 
um, this is the one I wanted to kind of just show really truly the the inside. Oh, the inside just makes it really nice because um, you still have the inside. It doesn't have the full size, but we're going to make one, and I will show you how that is. Now, this one is just having the one tree, and in that stamp set, um, it's neat because it actually has the um, right at the bottom. Like a little ground snow so that made it really nice on this area right under here and then I used part of our kit that had that lace just for a border so let's get started and let's make one all right so we're going to need just a regular size um, um, it's an eight and a half eight and a half by eleven and we cut it at five and a half I always confuse myself with this yeah five and a half and then we score it at four and a quarter now there are two score lines let me get right here and see do you see the shine okay it's actually an inch so there it is okay so we are going to go ahead and remember the dark ones the valley goes in so go ahead and just cut uh, fold your I don't have my bone folder right in front of me but we'll just use this so we're going to it right side up, fold this and then on the one inch we're gonna fold it back okay like that All right, so there's our fold. All right, so first we are going to get our little piece in here, and this is from the kit. So we have the the um, pumpkin pumpkin pie on the one side, Cajun craze on the other. But this one just looked very Christmassy to me. And sorry, get my glue real quick. Okay, and so we're gonna glue this down. We need to get this down before we get the ribbon down and then before we get the piece down for our fold. So we're going to butt that up right to that score line. And because of the size of the paper, you see it does come, um, gives a little bit of green on, on both top and bottom, which is fine because you already have green here. So. I mean, it's not you had to go to all the way to the edge. All right, then we're going to take our embossed folder design. And this just is one that I had in my stash. It doesn't have to be that, but I did kind of want to have a little bit of something that looked kind of festive, you know, kind of Christmassy. All right, so we have that. Isn't that nice? All right, and now... I have our, we have our, this is just our, our uh, thread, linen thread. You want to start with um, a piece here because that's going to be our tie. And then we are going just to go around a couple times. We want a little bit of, of um, thickness to it. There we go. And, um, and then part of the part of the thread um, is not going to stay down all the way. So what I did was um, I actually put a little glue dot in there. So let me make sure you can see that. Anyhow, let me just remind just to, to say again, I really appreciate the feedback, um, and I did my very best. As you can see, I'm a little better getting um, close ups and being able to do it and. You know, I know these people who have these great software and editing and cameras and everything. And when you really don't, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, I guess it's like a testimony that you really don't have to have it. It just takes a little bit of ingenuity in order to get that to work. All right, so I'm getting this in. And I do want to have it go kind of go long ways just to get... Um, bit see, closer so it's not a lot just enough and it gives it a nice little country feel this is too long and I'm gonna put a glue dot this will kind of stabilize it 
I try to roll it just a little bit, um, put that on my fingernail, and I'm going to put that right underneath all of the ribbon there. There. So now you can see how it will just stay right in place. And it comes off just, a, just really nice. Not a whole big heavy, but it is nice. Now, we have our ribbon on. Now I'm going to take and where the fold is, that's my half. That's my, um, my four and a quarter. And then I am just going to put enough glue on there to get that to stay down. Anyhow, I just really, I, when I saw this design, I knew that this boo would be one not only to show because it really emphasizes the pumpkin and the different um, aspects of our paper, but also because this is going to be a design I think I can do for a lot of my cards. Okay, now the inside we are going to do, this is three and a quarter, still it has the five and five and a quarter because five and a half is our total page. We want to have the, the um, the the color ah, I thought the, the the layer the layer the layer the layer all the way around like a nice border and we're gonna put that in you know it's nice I mean I, I don't speak of it often but when I use the tumble glue it does give you a little bit of wiggle room when that's in there okay now I've already cut out my piece and I'm gonna put this in the middle um, and then as you know, as you kind of make things, things evolve. Have you ever done that? You kind of work on something and you go, you know, that really doesn't, doesn't have enough oomph. So you make it work. The other ones, the other ones we had, yeah, we did, um, and this is going to be down here. All right, so what I did was I already have my, my uh, color and I have my stamps. Um, a lot of times on die cuts, some people will, and I have as well, you will stamp everything out on your paper and then line up your dies over the stamped image, which is great. But sometimes um, if you, um, the, if you, put stamp dies too close together. Oh, sorry, not stamp dies. If you put dies too close together, it will cause a problem going through the, the uh, big shot. So I have found if I put my stamp images after, I can get more of my dies out of my paper. So it's more resourceful. Okay. And because polymer is ever so wonderful because you can see where your um, how much inks on your pa on your stamp and where you are coming down there let me show you see that so you have the non inked and the inked. So, so I'm going to go ahead and just finish with this. Um, I will wash those in just a minute. Just want to get this done. All right. Get this together. All right. Now we assemble. So part of my, um, my idea was just not only showcasing some of the stamp sets that are in the catalog for your holiday time, but also, hold on just one second. I didn't get my, uh, my dimensionals. Okay. Um, but also to utilize, utilize your, your stamp set. You notice I showed you um, several that I am using, and that is because I think it is most beneficial to utilize um, different sentiments, different aspects. And like I said, this was this was a treat to be able to use this red from our, um, not red, 
Cajun craze um, from the the um, kit, but do a twist. Do it for Christmas. Now I am actually cutting up the bones, they call it. So this is my sheet of dimensionals, but you can see I have used these, but now I have all these extra pieces. Well, by golly, they work out wonderfully when it comes to longer areas, especially for trees. Okay, so now let's get this on. And I'm just finishing up. I wanted to, um, I did trees and it's really kind of uh, uh, part of my, my uh, to showcase my weekend. I did, um, my husband and I went on a road trip. Well, I say road trip. We went up the uh, Poudre River and took some pictures of some trees, which I'm going to attach as a, a vlog in this video so i thought trees in my cards would be perfect okay so there you can see how that is um basically opening and has this is already concrete down it's not coming up so you still have a card but now you have another way of looking at that. So there is our um, different kind of cards. And let me get the other three just to show you the difference. Here. All right. So we have this one with the trees and the detail with stamp behind it. Then we took a tree that was just one tree with the full image behind it and a little bit of that um, that lace. And then this one was no stamp, just the tree and that white behind it. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this and um, stay tuned. I'm going to add a little bit of a video of our forest trees and mountain in Colorado. Have a great day.